Hello students. Uh, so now let's start with your first session of your physics chapter. Okay. Begin with the class. Okay. So we will discuss about today about force. Okay. So in our everyday, you take some objects and sometimes you keep it with you or sometimes you throw them away. So this type of acts, you use the words like opening, kicking, shutting, lifting, hitting, etc. Okay. So in all these cases, whether you push or whether you pull an object, okay, uh, this is term as your force. Okay, so force means the object which you pull or push, this term as force, okay. See, you open a door, okay, when you open, when you want to open a door, you pull the door right towards you. So what do you do? You apply a force, okay. So I'll give you an example. Here is a pen. So what will happen is that if I want to use this pen, I will lift it with my hand. So I'm applying a force. Okay, I pull the pen towards me. So this is term as your force. Okay, my pen is an object. Okay, my pen is an object. And the uh, force that is, I mean the activity which I'm pulling it. Okay, the action which I'm doing to pull the pen. It is known as your uh, pulling of the pen. Okay, this is term as your force. Okay, when you push, when I push this pen towards here or when I pull the pen towards me, it is known as a force. Okay, so sometimes I will also give you an example like when you want to draw a bucket of water from the well. Okay, either you pull it or either you push that. Okay, or sometimes you will observe that leaves, okay, and pieces of paper fly away with the wind. Okay, because the wind is blowing away the paper or blowing away the leaves, that is a force is being applied. Okay, or some and also when you fly a kite, you can feel that the push of the wind on it. Okay, because the wind acts as a force by pushing, okay, or by pulling the object that is either the leaves or either the paper. So we have another term. Okay, suppose I'll also give you the same example that is with your pen. Okay. So, if I push this pen towards here, or if I pull this pen towards this side, okay, this is known as your direction of force, okay? So, direction of force means the direction in which the object is being pushed or pulled, okay? This is known as your direction of force, okay? And also, we can define force in a simpler way. We can say that a force is that, that cause which changes or tends to change the state of rest or motion of a body. That is the inertial state of the body, okay? Inertial state of a body means when this pen, okay, this suppose this is an object or the body is either at rest, okay, not moving or either is the state of motion, okay? So whether it's moving or whether it is uh, not moving, okay, that is the state of rest, a force can be defined as which tends to Take, take changes okay so if this is address i am changing their position okay so i am from here the pen move towards here i am changing the pen's position so a force can be defined as the changes or tends to change the state of rest this is address or when they are in motion if i change their direction okay this is known as your force okay and the unit of force can be newton or kilogram newton you can easily write them as n and kilogram you can easily write as a kg next we have is the effects of force okay so what are the effects of force when a force is applied on an object okay i told you any object it can be whether it's a ball pen or your school bag or the door anything okay when you when a force is being applied okay it will undergo a change okay so this this type of force can be effects of force the first one will be force can move stationary objects okay so here i wrote here an example of opening a door or pulling a suitcase okay so a force applied on a stationary object can make it move okay so suppose this pen is a stationary object okay or you can say a door or you can say your bag okay so what will happen is that a force is being applied or we can apply force, 
Okay, so I want this pen to go here. So you know force what this means anything that you push or pull an of, of an object is called force. So when if I want to move this pen towards here, I move it here. Okay, so this pen is a stationary object. So by applying force, I can move this pen from here to here. So in this statement, which states that a force can move a stationary object, that means this pen, for example, is a stationary object. Okay, so I can move it here. Okay, if I want to move here, I apply a force and I move towards here. So like here in opening door also, you know the door is being closed. Okay, so when I want to open the door, I can apply force. And when I apply force, it moves. Okay, same way as I told you that in pen, when I apply force, okay, towards here, what do, what it happens is that the pen moves towards here. Okay, so any stationary objects, okay, like the door, suitcase, football, anything, when you want them to move, you have to apply force. And that's why it states that force can move a stationary object. And then the next point you have is a force can stop a moving object. Okay, now first, what was that? It can move a stationary object when the object is not moving, okay, like the non-living things. And here, what happened is that moving objects, like I've written here an example of stopping a moving bicycle with hands. So what will happen is that if suppose you have a bike, you're riding a bicycle, okay? So how will you stop a bicycle? By using your hand, okay? When you want to stop a bicycle, you use a hand and always remember that a force is being applied. You use a force, okay? Without force, you cannot stop a bicycle okay and then sometimes when you, you are playing football with your friends and your friend kick a football okay suppose your friend kick a football towards this side so what well, you are walking uh, you're walking on the way and you and you're scared that the ball will hit you so what will you do is that you will stop the moving ball okay so here if you apply if you apply a force on a moving object it can stop it okay so in order to stop a moving object, we apply force in the opposite direction, okay? So here what happens is that if the pen is rolling towards here, okay, from this, so this is the opposite direction, right? So in order to stop it, okay, so the pen is rolling down. So in order to stop this pen, I will stop it in the opposite direction towards this side. My pen moves towards this side and if I want to stop the rolling of the pen, I will stop in the opposite direction okay next one you have is force can change the speed of an object okay so no matter any speed of an object comes with a high speed or with a slow speed okay a force can change the speed okay here I have given you an example of a rolling pet of a marble so in third point, okay, I've given you an example of marbles, okay. So here I have a marble, okay. Suppose this is a marble. So what will I do is that I will move a marble on the floor gently, gently, okay. The marble start moving here, gently. This is the marble, okay. Once I apply force on the marble, it will go towards here, okay. So if I hit if I take another marble and hit this marble, okay, so this is marble A and this marble B, okay, so I I, I have a marble A and I push the bar marble A, okay, so it is rolling towards this direction. Then I took another marble, I have marble B and I hit the marble from behind, okay, so when I hit the marble from behind, what will happen is that this A marble the speed will increase okay so this a marble speed will increase again what will i do is that i will have another marble that is marble c okay so from the opposite direction here i have a marble c and i hit this marble okay while the marble is rolling down okay the marble is rolling down towards here so i took another marble c i either hit the marble from here or either hit the marble from here so once I hit the marble from the opposite direction, okay, so this marble A speed will 
decrease okay so uh, from this conclusion we can say that if a marble okay or if an object when i apply force okay in the direction of the motion if i apply force in this direction okay that is in the direction of the motion in this is known as the direction of the motion okay the force will increase and if i apply force in the direction opposite to the direct opposite to this direction okay opposite to this direction the force will i mean the speed will decrease so a force which is being applied in the direction of motion okay of an object the speed will increase and if i apply force in the opposite direction of an object the speed will decrease as i have shown you in marble a marble b and marble c now next you have is a force can change the direction of a moving object okay example i've written here badminton player strikes the shuttlecock okay so you are two friends you are playing a badminton so what will happen is that you will pass the uh, shuttlecock to your friend okay so when your friend hit the shuttlecock it can also change the direction okay so force when you apply force it can also change the direction okay so when you hit a shuttlecock your friend will hit it with a force so when it hits with the force it can change the direction okay another form i can give you an example is that i have a paper okay so this is a paper so from here i drop the paper okay so once i drop the paper it will fall towards here but suppose while uh, while while i drop a paper okay if i hit the paper with my finger like this okay the paper direction suppose the paper direction has to go this way if i apply force to this paper again the paper might fall in this direction okay suppose i have a pen and this pen i dropped it okay the pen i drop it and it's reaching towards the floor so what will happen is that while the pen is falling down it has to fall straight okay so if i hit this pen towards this side the pen might flow in the another direction so this states that a force can change the direction of a moving object so this object is being moved so if i apply force and hit the pen towards this side it will change the direction so first it went straight but if i hit it it can go towards here or if i hit this side it can go it can move towards this side so this means that a force can change a moving object or we can say that it can change the direction of a moving object now next you have is a force can change the size and shape of an object okay so you all know what is flour or atta right flour or atta is used to make chapati you all have chapati at home right every morning and you can all you also have in a dinner time so even while making a chapati a force is being applied remember that so when you're going to make a chapati first you take atta right so when you take an atta, you make a dough, okay? So when you make a dough, the dough becomes round, okay? So I don't have any atta, so I'll be using a paper, okay? So this is my thing that this is my floor. So when I want to make a chapati, I will make into a dough, okay? So when I make into a dough, it becomes round, okay? So this becomes round after making a dough, then... I need to, and then I will roll it between my palms okay so when I roll between my palms it becomes spherical okay after becoming spherical in order to make a chapati I need to roll the dough with the help of a rolling pin okay since I don't have a roll so once you start rolling the dough what will happen is that the dough from becoming a spherical it will become a flat so this big paper becomes flat so here what happened is that I apply force okay to make a dough I apply I I use my force or I apply my force to make the dough into a spherical round and then uh, to make it flat I also apply force and I use a rolling pin and this chapati becomes round so have you seen that it changed its shape first it became spherical okay round and then later it becomes into a flat chapati okay you got a flat shape 
So we can say that when I apply force, it can change its shape and also the size of an object. I hope you are clear. So that's all for the effects of force. Okay. Now we have been discussing about force and effects of force. Now we'll move on to the classification of forces. Okay. So under the classification of forces, you have two types. That is the contact force and the non-contact force. Okay. So contact force will be the contact between two objects to bring about changes. And when you go to non-contact forces, they do not require any physical contacts between two bodies okay so in other words in easier simpler form can also say is that when the bodies okay are in contact with each other okay here one and here in the next body there when they are in contact with each other okay they can form your contact force and when the bodies which do which are not in contact with each other okay they can form your non-contact Force. So to, uh, now we'll be studying about the contact forces first. Okay, so to make you understand about contact force, let me give you an example. Okay, suppose you're feeling thirsty. So when you're feeling thirsty, you want to drink a glass of water. Okay, so when you want to drink a glass of water, what do you need to do? Imagine that this pen is a glass of a glass of water. Okay, so when I want to drink a water, I need to lift this glass of water and put it in my mouth because the glass has to touch the i mean my mouth has to touch the glass so that i can drink the water okay so when i leave the glass what happened is that i am applying force on the glass okay i'm applying force on the glass and i'm lifting the glass and as you can see is that my hands are in contact with the glass my hand touched the glass so this is an example of your contact force because two objects or two bodies are in contact one object is my hand and the other object is the pen so you can see that these two are in contact okay another example i can give you is that here you can see that two person okay one player is a the other player is b okay so what will happen is that this player was is playing football with his friend b okay so he wants to pass this ball towards his friend b so what will he do is that he will he need to apply a force on the ball okay how will he apply force? When he applies force on the ball, he kicks the ball towards his friend. When the player applies force, okay, on the ball, you can see that the ball is in contact with the, uh, with the foot, with his foot. Okay, you can see that his foot is in contact with the ball. Okay, so this is another example of contact force because this person wants to kick the ball, wants to pass the ball towards his friend. So what ha what he has to do is that he needs to kick the ball. So in order to kick the ball, his foot is in his foot is in touch with the ball. So that means the ball and the foot, okay, they are in contact or they are in touch. Okay, so this is another example of your contact force. Example you can say is that when you want to play a computer games. Okay, so when you play a computer games, you can see that your hands, you apply a force on the keyboard. Okay, and then when you when you play the computer games, you can see that your fingers are touching the keyboard. Okay, in order to play games, now you can see that your fingers and the keyboard are in contact. Okay, that means overall I can explain, I can tell is that when one body, okay, the pen and my hand, just assume that these are two bodies. So when my hand and this pen are holding towards, when they are in contact with one another, this is known as your contact force. Then we'll move on mechanical force. Okay, mechanical force, they are the force that is exerted by a machine. Okay, they are exerted by a machine, so we call them as mechanical force. So we use mechanical force, okay, to move the objects in other work. Like for example, you have a car, a car moves with the help of the mechanical force of the engine, okay. So you just, a car cannot just move, okay, if you just place a car in one place here, it cannot just move by itself, right. So what happens is that it moves with the help of the mechanical force of the engine, Next you have is your frictional force, okay? This force, the force that acts between the two first surfaces which is in contact. Suppose this is my surface 1 and this is my surface 2. When they are in contact, okay? Uh, when they are in contact, the force, the, the force they will act between the two first surfaces, okay? Because they are in contact. And then 
or we can also and then to have your muscular force okay so this muscular force is the force that is generated to our body okay being contact with the objects that is when the muscles in our body they expand and contract okay we also use our muscular forces to carry out our physical activities okay not only we human beings okay even animals use a muscular force okay like for example you can see that a bullock cart okay then you can see that um, horses camels they start pulling carts okay we can also see that elephants pulling heavy logs of wood okay in our daily, daily in our daily life we mainly push and pull many things okay while lifting things we pull them okay so i'll give you an example suppose you have a bullock okay so a bullock cart okay they use is used to carry load from one point to another and bullocks okay these bullocks are tied with a cart you i think you have all seen a bullock cart okay you have a bullock and at the back side you fit you have like a cart okay that cart you see that it's like a wooden sledge okay that wooden part is known as the cart behind the bull okay behind the bullock it is being tied okay so they are being tied with a cart the load is then added on the cart and then the bullet then applies muscular force on the cart and moves it forward okay so so the muscular force is a contact force why we can say that it is a muscle uh, it is a contact force because you can see that okay think that my hand is a bullock and this is the cart so this bullock and the cart are in contact okay so when in their contact they are put loads in the cart okay so if my bullock cart okay if my bullock wants to move to another direction it start applying force on the cart and it start moving towards this direction okay so you can see that the cart and the bullock are in contact so we can also say that a muscular force is a contact force so so far we have been discussing about force and then the effects of force and the classification of force under the classification of force we have been discussing about the contact force in the next video we'll be discussing about the non-contact